Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Mods. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at this Freightliner FLD that I bought in the previous episode and customized and we're going to take it out on the road and see how it does doing some proper hauling. So let's go to the job market and see what we can find. Now the freight market usually has some good stuff. I mean like I'm not actually sure if we have any mods active right now so I'm kind of going through and seeing if like See, I'm not sure if I want to do just, like, just a heavy haul, but, I mean, at the same time, like, I, my, my truck is made for a heavy haul, but at the same time, I would like to do something a little bit different, um, especially since we have things like, you know, these realistic brands, um, w with doubles and stuff like that, so we could do those. Or, like, we could, for example, do this U.S. Foods one, this U.S. Foods double, um, or this, like, ABF, uh, vegetables double, so we could do, let's see, um, hmm, I don't want to do a, <laughs> I don't want to do a Swift doubles because we may end up going off-roading unexpectedly, let's say. <laughs> we could do this Amazon Prime one, that one would be different. That, that one would be interesting, actually, we could do that one, we could do this UPS one as well. I mean, it, regardless of which one we do, it's going to be, like, I like, I like hauling the realistic trailers just because I feel like they're a little bit more, like, they, they give you that, that little bit, little bit extra, um, of, like, a realistic feel, so I think they're kind of, they're kind of cool because of that, but let's see, we could do one of these UPS trailers, what's available up here in Elko, uh, let's see, couple of, there's a one, there's one heavy haul, there's a bulldozer, um, there's a Swift single, let's see, there's, like, some gravel and stuff like that, there's a, there's a Ren wagon, which is basically, I mean, it's a car hauler, so we could do the car hauler, but I've done multiple car hauler videos, be like, I've done multiple videos with the car hauler stuff before, so I don't want to do, I don't want to, like, keep doing car haulers and stuff like that, so let's do, we do the gravel, um, we don't really haul, haul stuff like that very often, the pressure tank would be interesting because it'd be very different. Um, let's run. Hmm. Uh, oh, let's see. Elko to Noodle, the lift truck chassis from Elko to Noodle. I mean, we could do that. We could do that. The only, the only issue. Well, let's see. Jackpot as well has some good stuff. I was gonna say the only issue with going to. Well, you know what. Noodle, there shouldn't really be too much uphill. We should be able to do that. The lift truck chassis to Noodle, we should be able to do that, I think. But, God, I want something that's not, like, a super long delivery. And that's the only... Well... Hmm... God, this Detroit diesel sounds really different than the, um... Than the Cummins engines and the Cat engines I've been using a lot lately. Let's go back into first-person view. This thing is so... Oh, come on. It's weird. Like, I'm in ninth gear, and it just... Like, you have to sometimes double or triple shift to keep it off the rev limiter. It's Why is my diff locked? I just deactivated... Like, I just unlocked it, but, like, I have no clue why the hell my diff was locked. It wasn't supposed to be. Eh, we'll... We'll, we'll bypass that. It was yellow when we got to it. <laughs> Let's see... I will stop for this stop sign. I'm just not going to sit there for very long. Hopefully, hopefully this trailer didn't end up being one of the ones that's in like a really weird place. Like, and when I say weird place, I mean like one of the ones that's just sitting in an odd location. Oh, okay. So it's, it's easy. It's very simple. All right. So pressure tank. Alright, we're going to have to turn around, and that's basically it. Line yourself up. There we go. I have a feeling this is going to be a really easy one. I just... It's its weird because you don't always have to do heavy hauls for the game to be fun, and I feel like that's something that I kind of... Like, I didn't realize for a while. It was like, oh, I have to haul the craziest thing all the time. Otherwise, like, the game's not going to be fun. And... I w it kind of prevented me from trying, like, different trailers or new trailers, um, or different types of, like, 
different types of DLC and stuff like that. Well, not even DLC, but like different types of mods. Like if it wasn't heavy haul related, then I didn't I didn't download it because I didn't think it would be interesting. But honestly, like there's a whole other side to the game outside of the heavy haul stuff. Oh, breaks, please. There goes that Amazon Prime trailer that I was going to haul earlier. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Oh, U.S. Foods. These are like the, the, the short trailers. They're like little shorty trailers. All right. Oh, uh, boys. Boys. I have the green light on that one. Leaving Elko. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make a right once we get up here onto the high. Really? Did I really just say make a right? Probably because I, it was in my head from just making a right earlier, but we're going to make a left onto the freeway. This is 80, and then once we get on 80, we'll probably be on 80 for a good a good while. That's 2,000 RPMs in 18th at 80 miles an hour. So that means that we'll that's probably right about our top speed, especially going uphill. I would say 80, at, like going up any sort of a hill, 80 is going to be this thing's top speed. Now, going downhill, uh, it depends. I don't want to over-rev the truck. So, I am going to keep it around 80 and let it be. Now, if, like, between 75 and 80, if I'm passing traffic around that speed range, then that's fine. But I'm not going to go, like, way over 80 just to pass traffic because I don't want to get, like, I don't, I don't want to keep this engine too, like, that high in the RPMs for a long time. It's just, it's not good for the truck at all. Hello. But as long as we cruise along at right about 80, it should be fine. So let's go back to exterior view now. We'll let it... Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll let it go back to about 80 because we started going downhill. And the second you start to go downhill, it really picks up speed. Like, it really picks up speed. Like, it's weird, too. It's got a, such a different sound than the Cat and the Cummins engines do. Like, listen. A little bit of an uphill put us back to our back to our more comfortable speed for it, though. And it's interesting because it lo this lo the load that it's hauling right now looks a lot more like something you would see every day rather than, like, one of those heavy hauls that you... That, that was a Coca-Cola triple. Huh. But yeah, no, that this looks a lot more like something you'd see every day than like say for example one of those crazy heavy hauls and I think like one of the reasons why it's you know what? Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I mean they were in my way. <laughs> what can I say? They were just sitting there. Beautiful countryside out here though. Like gorgeous countryside. It's like a tour bus. The tour bus is back here like showing people around and I'm like, "Sup, dude? Oh god." I don't think that gave me any damage, but I'm trying to avoid any damage, like, at all that I can. Because any damage that I that I take is just, like... If you can get a clean run, there's just something really special about getting a clean run. Are those... Um... This is not PUBG. I mean, if you want to land, I'll run you over so I survive longer, but damn. It's not PUBG, guys. Calm down. Oh, God, we're well over 80 miles an hour. That engine is screaming... Screaming! You know what? It's not worth it, it. No, it's not worth it to try to go. I, I was gonna try to go around the outside, and I decided it just wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. Uh, let's see. F seven. Okay, so zero damage on the truck and the trailer. So we can go back to F five for GPS. Technically, we don't even need that there because we've got the GPS and the windshield, but I kind of like having both for whatever reason. I actually have two GPSs in my truck. I have one in the dash, one on the windshield, and then I have the third GPS, which is on my HUD. So technically, I have, like, GPS all the things, but I, I, do I need that many? No, but I, I'm sure, yes, that there's going to be a comment about my sense of direction, but my sense of direction is actually pretty damn good, actu uh, actually. it's Well, put it this way. My sense of direction is awesome when I'm using Google Maps. I'm actually not terrible at reading signs, though. It's like, it's like one of those things that you get accustomed to doing after a while. And, you know, you're like, you're kind of like, well, logically, if we came from, you know, uh, point A, and now we're at point, I don't know, M or L, um, how do we find our way back to point A or just to get to point B? Um, and generally, it's just based on the logic of retracing your steps. And if you can do that, you're usually just fine. So we're uh, we're running well over 80 miles an hour at this point. 85, going downhill. 
eh. I'm gonna take a chance with my engine and run it. Ooh, boy. That was close. With that cop and then this other car, that was really close. Oh, no. Oh, God. Dude, we lost so much speed. We lost so much speed. It was either, although it was either have a head-on collision or rear-end a bus. And neither one of those things are a desirable outcome or idea. They're both very, 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 um... What can I say? Not, they're both, neither one of those is a brilliant idea, put it that way. So let's stick with it and stay in the throttle now. Go, oh, well, I was gonna shift up again. I was going to. But, at the same time, I, I, I guess I decided it was a brilliant idea just to not. And, um, that's where we sit on that, I guess. We got traffic coming the other way. Oh, damn, alright. Time it. Come on! See ya. <laughs> he's just gonna... He's just gonna sit right there. I mean, I'll see you later, bro. I wonder how... F hmm. Let me see. Because I saw the drop-off point earlier. Let me see, like, technically how... Whoa! Whoa! All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Do we stay? So. We are here. Yeah, we're there. And then. Going all the way down. Oh, I kind of want to do a little like. I kind of want to do a little jump thing. But not like all the way. Just. Well, even from Tonopa, it's a while. Uh, it's not too far. Let's do... You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, this is going to be interesting, trying to do this on the move. Well, actually, no. It's a bad idea to do it on the move. It's a terrible idea to do it on the move. Put it in, like, fourth. And then... Boom. And... <laughs> All right. We'll go over here. Link up with, what road is this? 376, and then F9, and camera angle one, and let's go! <laughs> bit of a, uh, bit of a shortcut, but... Wait a minute. Our time went up. Why did our time go up? Oh. My. God. Oh my god. We're going backwards. I mean, technically... Technically, we made progress. But at the same time, we're still going backwards. Let's see what happens if I do... Hmm. Here. Let's see what happens if I do that. And then, if I find my route, which I think is over here, I'm not exactly sure... Maybe it's back this way. <laughs> I really don't know. And it's mildly bothering me. Where is my route? Okay, I need to figure out where my route is. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think I'm going the right... I am going the right way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this is- wow, this is a low- this looks like a really lonely highway out here. Oh, dude, there's the route! Yes! Aha! Yes, there's the route. Beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and set ourselves right here. Now, it's like, oh yeah, you're 22 miles, which- Did we just do that in 12th gear? I want to see what happens. Oh, I want to see what happens if I put it in 18th gear and try to start off. It complains a lot, but it moves. We're on a slight downhill right now, but it's still moving. It's going to take it a hell of a long time to get up to speed. That turbo will never spool. Ever. Come on. Add past 1,000 RPM. Now it's going to spool. Come on. Oh, yes.
Yes, wind out the RPMs. Into 16th? Oh, I wonder if... Dude, I was curious if that double shift was going to work. It looks like it does. Our target's in range now, too, which is kind of one of those, like... It's like... <laughs> it's, I know we didn't really do the full thing, but it's still, like, kind of one of those finally-type things. Because it's like... I don't know about you guys, but... I would say probably my least favorite area in this game is, like, the desert and, like, you know, the barren deserts of, like, Nevada and stuff like that. Because there's just not that much, like, variety to the environment. Alright, but finally we're here. Finally we're freaking here. So let's go ahead and we'll pull in very carefully. I think I remember picking up something here, actually. Like, a while back, I think I remember picking something up here. And we'll give it a little bit of breaks. And, alright. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, that could have been a little bit better. Now we can hit A. Alright. Where do you need it? Alright, so let's see. I need to figure out where they need this thing, because... They need it over there? We can do that. Not sure yet whether or not this is the right way to go about it, but... Oh god, alright. Let's see, we do a little bit of reverse action. Honestly, I would say this is probably not the... It's definitely not going to be the quickest way to do it, but it'll still work. No! Oh my god! Uh, I forgot that... Hmm, I forgot my controller mapping is, like, A, and even if I switch, like, it's A to shift up, but the game also considers A, like, enter, so if I'm in that general area and I hit enter, it automatically finishes it for me. I really did not want it to do that, but I guess it did. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of American Truck Simulator with mods, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.